You've probably been wondering how to catch the viewer's attention from the very beginning of your video. And what are the things that make it easier for you to hook your viewer's attention or get them to watch your videos until the end? Well, is it the special effects or the expensive editing software or maybe a joke at the beginning of the video? Well, keeping the viewer's attention today is key for growing not only on YouTube but also in all social networks and platforms. In this video, I'll give you the tips and tricks of how to capture the viewer's attention on YouTube as well as analyze the most popular mistakes that even experienced YouTubers make at the beginning of their videos. This is Nader from Prodvigate and here on this channel we talk about the tips and tricks of how to grow on YouTube today. What does it mean to hook your viewers? To get your viewers' attention means to own the world. This sounds a little bit pathetic, but it's kind of true, right? Look at how we purchase certain brands just because our attention has been captured by the marketing. When we look at popular vloggers, we immediately ask ourselves, what are they doing that makes their viewers, you know, keep being watched by a lot of people until the end? And it's here necessary to understand that hooking the viewer and keeping them throughout the entire video are two different things. We all deal with each of these issues gradually, but we'll start from how to hook the viewer at the beginning of the video. To hook your viewers means to get them to watch the video till the end. Add it to their, you know, favorites, or subscribe to the channel, or watch your content again and again. Click on the bell and always keep up with your channel and comment and leave likes and dislikes and share it with their friends. It's fundamental in the development of your channel and attracting subscribers. According to experts, the first 8 to 10 seconds of your video are always the most important. This concerns psychological factors. They are usually confirmed by analytics and if you open the analytics of some of your videos on the channel, you'll see that 25% of the viewers abandon your video in these 8 to 10 seconds. And if you analyze the introduction from a technical point of view, then the first 30 seconds, you need to pay attention to determine which words you say because it's the automated systems that YouTube will analyze in order to correctly rank your videos and get them into the recommended ones for your target audience. I told you about exactly what words to say and how to find them in the video of optimization using keywords. You can watch it by clicking somewhere here. So here's a list of several ways to hook the viewer. First, visual tricks. The content of the introduction, like how your words are constructed in the sentence charisma and oratorical skills, and the author's name. We'll analyze the first two concepts, which are visual tricks and the content of the introduction. So let's start with what mistakes YouTubers often make at the beginning, and it doesn't matter at all whether it's a beginner YouTuber or not. The most common mistakes are using technical terminology at the beginning, long pauses between words and sentences, inadequate titles and thumbnails, also the image and background quality. Don't you agree that it's not fun to watch someone with a background of a garbage dump, for example, and even take him by a phone with a one megapixel camera? And also one of the most common mistakes is when you put long intros. And also banalities at the beginning, like talking too much about irrelevant things to the point where people are gonna be like, Screw the details, get to the freaking point. Well, these TV conventions no longer work on YouTube. Here, it's more customary to get straight to the point and give people what they need, and then you can greet them. Also, when you put such a reasonable pause that it seems to the audience that this is the end of the video. Also, low video quality like bad picture and sound, Keep in mind that nobody will watch you if the picture and sound are too poor. Now, let's get to the tips of what you should do in the introduction to hook your viewers. Let's start with the tips on the visual part. There'll be seven of them. First is the quality. Good sound and picture. This is where you start any of your videos. Also, you should give up the intro. 
This is not a direct recommendation, but just a tip. Well, or at least move it as far as possible in the introduction and do not take longer than two or five seconds. Well, five seconds will do the trick. Also, movement. When you have a beautiful background, it's certainly a good thing. But when we go on and talk, we need to make your presence felt. Start right away with cutting the most spectacular moments by cutting the most captivating moments of your video. And also I mean some catchy phrases or maybe graphics that are, you know, that you're using during your video. And now tips on the content part. Start with the big question. This technique is very simple and effective. For example, if you're making a video about a trip to Egypt, you can just start by saying, do you want to know how hot it feels to be in Egypt in summer? And then show people some of your beautiful and spectacular shots that you have taken. Make it clear to the audience immediately what sort of benefits they will get from the video. For example, I told you at the beginning that we'll find out what mistakes everyone makes at the beginning and learn techniques that will motivate your viewer to watch your video further. And I have put the emphasis on the benefits from watching my video. Start immediately with the results that you and your viewers will have after watching. For example, you have prepared something you know, or made something or just realized that some certain knowledge will improve the quality of life of your subscribers, then you should share that and show people a tangible result. Then they will want the same thing that you have. Make a preview and a title about the same thing that you're talking about at the beginning of the video so that the audience won't have a feeling that they were deceived. Give the viewers what they're looking for. First, you must ask the question, what does the viewer want? Well, let's get an example. You are preparing a multi-layered, amazing dessert. Ask the question, what does the viewer want? And then you'll understand what the viewer wants to make this dessert easily and effortlessly. Numbers work very well for educational content. Use them in the title, preview, and in your introduction. And this will clearly increase the level of trust of your viewers in yourself and your experience. And yes, I use this move here in this video of the reasons why you need to have a YouTube channel. And you can watch this video by clicking somewhere here. You should announce to the audience that something is super cool and important is waiting for them at the end of the video. You can give people some kind of a life hack or a bonus or promo codes at the end of the video. Also, praise your viewers that they are good because they want to learn something nice and new to them. Such words depend on how closely you are to your target audience. Another great point is humor because humor is the best way to deal with our tedious everyday life and people really want to take a break from it on YouTube. Remember that the viewer is also a participant in the dialogue, so you can immediately involve them in your actions or thoughts. You can tell them, hey guys, do you want to, you know, do you want to tell me why my content is very cool, but no one's watching it and it's not clear what to do with it. I don't know. I'm frustrated. And then people are going to be like, yeah, I'm also suffering from this problem. I don't know what to do. And right after that, you give them a list of tips on how to cope with this problem. And yeah, by doing that, it's going to be very captivating and such a good move. Also, use the element of surprise and keep in mind that people want to feel some kind of adrenaline without compromising their health. Well, in the end, charisma, emotions, live communication and working with intonations are all elements of public speaking. And since we're working on cameras and in front of an audience, we just need to develop these skills by practicing them. To wrap it up, watch the analytics and draw conclusions about whether the beginning of your video is good or not. Without understanding analytics, there is not much you can do with the channel at all because you need to understand why one video was good and the other wasn't. Analytics will help you understand the objective reasons for the rise or decline of your content and will help you understand, you know, what you need to fix and what you need to work on. Be okay with the fact that not everybody will like your content. People can have different opinions 
of one piece of work and that's okay. That's why 25% of the audience can abandon your video in the first 8 or 10 seconds. That's it for today. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and I hope you liked it and it was useful for you. And if you did, please click on the like button and click on the bell so can, you can watch our future videos and, you know, benefit from our content. That was it. Thank you so much and see you next time.